So fun. Great song choice. Oh, I love that. Great. Al uh, Boogie, this tone is so infectious. It's like a different man that was here last year. And the way you held some of them low notes alongside Ruby's different range was just so impressive. And Ruby, just not a foot wrong. Your tone is so beautiful. And I was so excited to hear you again, because what happened here at your blind audition was one of my most memorable moments I've had on the show. The fact that Ruby put in two performances back to back like she has, I would just lean toward Ruby. Toward Ruby, okay. I forgot you were 16, Ruby. Just the way your presence is on stage, you just didn't look like a teenager, you didn't sound like a teenager. I had chills up and down my body when you said cry, like, cause, because you yodeled it, and it was <laughs> stunningly perfect. Al Boogie, your stage presence is really, really strong. Your voice is really beautiful, in tune, dynamic. This is like a really hard decision. I would say Ruby in some ways, but it's, that's not fair because Al Boogie, you are amazing. Ru you. I'm gonna leave it to the, uh, the expert over here. <laughs> I'm not an expert. <laughs> you both were compelling. You both like connected to the lyric and sang it with like emotion and passion. I think, Al, you started out as an underdog, one, because you were a one-chair turn and she was a four-chair turn, two, because you're singing a song that's about being a woman scorned. You don't exactly look the part. <laughs> um. Please don't take my man. <laughs> the inclination would be like, this is all pointing to Ruby, but you killed it, man. Thank you. You really did. Thank you very much. Ruby, I love that cry in your voice. I love how much character your voice has and how it really cuts through every song. You just feel so, like, in possession of your identity as an artist. Thank you. Thank you, coaches. All right, Reba, you've got the final say. What'd you think about that battle? I thought it was absolutely wonderful. It showed the versatility of you both. Ruby, when you did I Want to Be a Cowboy Sweetheart, I was thinking, well, that's a yodel song. How would she do on Jolene? You performed magnificently. You made me very proud. Thank you. And then Al, when you came out, a pickup man, 
I thought, how's he gonna do on Jolene? You know, it's a totally different song. You stepped up to the plate and knocked it out of the ballpark. Thank you. You guys did a great job on the choreography, singing together, making the parts your own. Very, very proud of you. Couldn't Thank ask you. for more. Thank you. Reba? Yes. <laughs> Take this part. So sorry to have to ask, but Thank the you. time has come. I know. Who is the winner of this battle? I love you both. But the winner of this battle is Ruby. Ruby, congratulations! You're moving on to the knockout! I can't believe I did it. I love Reba. Thank you so much for believing in me. Coming from such a small town, there's not a lot of opportunities. I always saw myself here, but I never knew I would do it. I'm gonna work hard and prove myself and show that I'm here for a reason. Al, anything you wanna say to Reba? Last season, it was a struggle going home uh, without that chair turn. Having you turn around kind of lifted that burden off of me, and this has been a great ride, and thank you. That's all I got. Thank Give you so much. Give it up for Al Boogie, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you ever quit. It was a very hard decision because I love Al's singing. I loved his tone, everything about it. It's just that Ruby has something totally different. 16 years old, she's so talented. We need people like Ruby that brings a little bit of the past of country music forward. I think America's gonna fall in love with Ruby just like I did.